Chapter 8. Show Profile Plot This chapter demonstrates the process of showing a profile plot. The objectives for this chapter is to learn about profile plot, path configuration, show plot, displaying water levels, animating the analysis, and creating an Excel table report. Before beginning this chapter, run the chapter setup. Chapter 8 dash two two zero four nine five 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 two oh one dot exe double click on the exe file click on browse browse to the c drive and select civil 3d projects click ok then click unzip this will overwrite any existing files in your project click ok and then click close The profile plot makes it easy to see if pipes are sloped in the wrong direction. You can edit the pipes and nodes by double clicking and viewing the corresponding dialog box to edit values, then return to the profile plot to see the updated results. The data tree has three buttons at the bottom of the toolbar. Each button changes the display of the data tree. The left button is the plan view as displayed below. The middle button is the time series plot. The right button is the profile plot. Exercise 8.1 Profile Plot Path Configuration Use the Profile Plot window to configure the profile plot path to display the links and structures starting at S9 and connecting S-10, S-11, S-12 and ending at outlet 1 pipe-6. First step is set up the profile plot. Double click on the icon on your desktop to start SSA. Once open, open the project file located in your project directory. Choose File, Open, Browse to Civil 3D Projects, double click on the project number, go to Drainage, go to SSA, and for this exercise, select Drainage SR61 Analysis SPF. Then click Open. Do not worry about finding the background file drawing. Click No. Click the Profile Plot button to display the Profile Plot window. At the top, in the Nodes selected for Profile Plot area, specify the starting node and ending node by first clicking the blank field next to the starting node. Your cursor is now focused inside the field allowing you to select a structure in the plan view and have that structure ID placed in the starting node field. Select inlet S-9. The structure ID S-9 displays in the starting node field. Select the blank field next to ending node. Select the outfall out dash one pipe dash six. The outfall ID outfall out dash one pipe dash six now displays in the ending node field. Read the note in the profile plot. If additional control is needed to define the path, then select links along the path instead of selecting the ending node. There is no editing options built into this window. To start over, you must click the Council button, then click the Profile Plot button.
Click inside the blank field next to the starting node. Then select Inlet S9. Next, click the Conveyance link, Pipe-18, to begin defining the path to the outfall. Continue by picking Pipe-9, Pipe-10, and Pipe-16. Pipe dash six, excuse me. Next, click the show plot button. I actually made a mistake in selecting this pipe, so let's go back and select it again. So I'm going to click on the profile plot to close out of this box. And let's do the steps one more time. So I'm going to choose Profile Plot, Starting Node, Structure 9, and then we're going to select Pipe-18, and then we're going to select Pipe-9, and then we're going to select Pipe-10, and then we're going to select Pipe-6. Next, we're going to choose on click the Show Plot button. The profile from S-9 to Outfall Out-1 Pipe-6 displays in the Profile Plot tab. Exercise 8.2 Display water levels in pipe. The water levels in EGL and HDL plots are displayed in the profile plot after running the analysis. From the standard toolbar, select the Perform Analysis command. Clear the Save Analysis Result checkbox and then click OK. The water level HGL and EGL displays after completing the analysis command. You can roll the wheel on the mouse to change the horizontal scale of the profile plot. Right click in the profile plot area to display the context menu. Select the profile plot options command. In the other display specification area of the Profile Plot Options dialog, you can see the colors specified for HGL, Maximum HGL, and Fill Water. The checkbox next to each element enables or disables display in the Profile Plot. Click OK to close the Profile Options dialog. Exercise 8.3 Animate storm events in the profile plot. Click the Output drop down menu and select the Output Animation command. The animation controls on the Output Animation dialog box. The date and time are for the current analysis run. Slide the animation speed all the way to the right. Click the play button to start the animation. Click the stop button after the elapsed time has reached 40 minutes.
As the time progressed on the output animation dialog, the profile plot displayed changes in the HDL, maximum HDL, and water level. Using the slider control and the left and right arrow buttons at either end are a convenient way to navigate to the desired date and time. Click the X to close the output animation dialog box. Close SSA and save the changes to the project. Excel Table Reports As shown in the following figure, from the Output Toolbar, select Output Excel Table Reports, or click the Excel Table Reports icon from the Output menu. The software will automatically start Excel and display the output reports. Before beginning Exercise 8.3, browse to your data set, find Chapter 8.5, dash two two zero four nine five 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 two zero one dot exe file double click to run the executable extractor select browse go to your C drive select civil 3d projects click OK select unzip this will overwrite any existing files that are in that folder click OK and then click close Double click the Autodesk Storm and Sanitary, Sanitary Analysis icon on your desktop. Next, go to the File pull down menu and choose Open. Make sure you're in the Project Directory under the Drainage folder and SSA folder. Select the Drainage SR61 Analysis.SPF and select Open. Select No to search for browsing for a drawing. On the far right of the output toolbar, select the Excel Table Reports. Here, Excel opens and displays the available reports organized by tabs in a single workbook. After you're, finished, after you're finished examining the report, click the X button to close Excel. Do not save the changes. Close SSA and save changes to the project.